<laughs> Give me your memories of Monday Night Football because I went back and looked at all your records. You were all there. You all played. I got a stat for you coming up in a second, Dad. I want to see if you remember. But just your your memories of Monday Night Football. I started. Go. Okay. Right. Um, Unless you get hurt, then Craig will take it back. Let's keep this one intact. Yeah. 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 Um, no, as, as Mike mentioned, Monday Night Football is so special because you grow up as, as, a, as a kid waiting for Monday Night Football and you hear the music and you, you hear, the, you know, you, I grew up in a time where Howard Cosell was doing and he would always say the halftime highlights and you remember seeing those halftime highlights and you get, you just at one point in your life said, I, God, I wish I want, I want to play on Monday night, I want to be there. And, and uh, so I got to, to grow up and then go to, go to college at USC and, and play in LA and the first Monday night game that we had when I was here in Detroit after my second year was playing the Los Angeles Raiders here in Detroit on Monday night. Um, and I knew, as Mike mentioned, everybody was going to be watching. My former teammates at USC, USC family, all of, all of Los Angeles because we were playing the Raiders, but all of the country. And um, just leading up to it was such a great, great experience. And we had a shootout. I mean, I think the game was 35, 31, or something like that. But it was a great game going back and forth, and I think um, a number of number of big plays, and there were like four or five Heisman Trophy winners that played in that game, and and every one of them scored a touchdown. And so it was it was very very exciting. But I remember leading up and sitting on that Monday, and I hated it because I must have threw up about five times <laughs> yeah. on that Monday because you have to wait so long to play that game. And night games are so just like the anticipation of it. And as a player, you're, 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 the butterflies get to you, but you just can't wait to get out on that field because, again, you know everybody's watching. It's a, it's a special thing as a player, and it's amazing how the franchise has continued to make it special for players. Yeah, I, I, I would say that my going back to learning about Detroit on Monday night, I remember sitting at home watching Eric Kipple go off on a Monday night, and I didn't know who Eric Kippel was before that game, but that game I did, everybody around me did, and it's just there's something magical about playing on Monday night, then you get to be a part of it, and uh, and I, again, my first experience with Monday night was being a backup in the stadium at that Raider game, and from that point forward, it was just any time you had that, there was a buzz around town like this, I mean, this doesn't happen between you know, on a Sunday morning game, and just the, the whole energy in the, in, the, in the city, people are talking about it, leading up to that for days in advance. And I think it's just, a, it, had, it carries a certain playoff atmosphere to it. That's, that's, those are some of my, my greatest memories are, are on those Monday nights. Wow, that, I was gonna say the same thing. I didn't wanna sound redundant. I think Mike hit on it perfectly. Uh, Rodney did, and I was gonna say, it's the closest thing that you can get to a playoff-like atmosphere during the regular season. And, um, it's just, it's just unique, like everyone said, and you know, only show in town, so everyone's watching. Uh, one of my experiences was, was a kid was watching Tony Dorsett. I was a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. It just seemed like Monday night, not only was it special because of the game, but it was like the night that my parents would allow me to stay up late. It's a school night. <laughs> it's a school night, but I can stay up later because it's a Monday night game. I remember like yesterday watching Tony Dorsett run a 99 yard touchdown against the Minnesota Vikings on Monday night. So it seems like oh, something significant, something special happened on Monday night. So, and it was always just an honor to be like, wow, I'm playing on Monday night. I never uh, imagined that I would have that opportunity. So it was great to play on Monday night. I got, I'm sitting here waiting. What's the stand? Yeah, yeah, Dan, yeah, 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 I want to go. I want to go. So I'm going back through. Tariq, 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 I'm looking at this. I'm looking at each of your games, and I'm trying to figure if there's a common theme as to how you guys played on Monday night. You had your ups and downs. I'm going through Desmond. I'm looking at this rookie season, and I'm going boom, boom. And you're looking at the dates to, to figure out which one was Monday. They'll say 7, 14, 21, 29. Your first reception and your first running play came on a Monday night in New Orleans when you were with the Redskins. You had returned punts and kicks before exactly. that, but yeah. you were into your rookie season, right. and the first time that you got involved on the offensive side. Do you remember a Monday night in New Orleans as a rookie? That's the guy who did his homework. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dad is still around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's good. You know I, was, now, I have a bad Monday night memory. I was actually sharing it upstairs with some kids, and we spoke to the, 
the young men and women upstairs, and it was a bad Monday night game because we, we were playing the Dallas Cowboys out with the Green Bay Packers. We played them in Dallas, and, uh, you know, it was just we, – we had a special teams coach as a guy, Nolan Cromwell. And Nolan was a great guy. Love Nolan. Nolan sits in our meeting, and he, uh, he poses this question. They had, like, this guy who was uh, – he was a um, he was just a, a, a butt kicking special teams player. Every 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 team has a guy like that. You know, he's just a butt kicker. So they had one on their team. So Nolan says to a, a rookie, "Can you block this guy?" This is what he asked a rookie in our special teams meeting. Can you block this player? Of course he's gonna say yes, right? I mean, what's he gonna say, Nah, coach? He's too tough for me. <laughs> no, I don't want any parts of him. <laughs> I ain't about that business, coach. He says yes. So, subsequently, I get my butt kicked that night by that one player. I mean, he must have made every tackle on special teams. At one point, I go back to the sideline. I'm talking to one of the uh, guys on my team. Like, I'm just hoping my parents turn the game off by now. Because <laughs> this is getting ugly. And uh, then we actually they got into a fight on the field, right, during the special teams play. I remember this because it, it, I'll tell you why. So they got into a fight. So I'm, I'm trying to pull one of our players out of the fight. A guy named William Henderson, he was a fullback. I'm grabbing William, I'm pull, pulling him out of the fight and everything. I'm like, man, you gotta get out of here. So my, Tuesday morning, I get an envelope from the NFL saying I'm getting fined for the fight. <laughs> and so I, I'm trying, I'm pleading my case. I'm like, how the hell am I getting fined for the fight? <laughs> you got guys like Troy Aikman out there, Michael Irvin out there, those guys didn't get fined. They say, well, because you didn't go towards your bitch. So I'm, I'm trying to get one of my guys out of the fight. I remember like, I'm talking to uh, our head coach. I'm like, listen, man, somebody got to pay this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fight moment, somebody got to pay this, but it ain't going to be me. And so I was trying to protect one of my instincts because you didn't go straight to your bitch. I said, man, you guys, this is ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, that was the Monday night. <laughs> 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 <laughs>